so as ceo and i think and that's why i, I mm-hmm. uh honestly i respect the honesty because i think that's that's also important you know when you're um just with any product in general you know to hear the honesty of what can be improved in your eyes if you had to pinpoint three improvements that that you, or, or three areas that you really feel like you're still a hundred percent just lacking in um mm-hmm. what where are they and 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 how do you kind of approach that in the in the future the imp- places that need a lot of improvement and, and focus and we're, we're we're currently doing it we're currently focusing on it is security <clears throat> because once we catch these bad people on the way in mm-hmm. then that automatically opens up the payments right, right for everybody um <clears throat> the other thing is on the self-serve experience when hosts are creating games to make it easier uh for them and less confusing and here's the rub <clears throat> when you have a free form and humans with free form content it's not like line item or drop down menus and stuff like that uh it gets tricky like hey uh, is the stock market is is you know is dogecoin going to be uh up or down by friday well buy is an interesting word right does that mean on friday before friday friday in the morning afternoon night right so it's like okay the english language humans self-serve user-generated content all that in a soup becomes a big challenge <clears throat> and i think so, you know it's interesting i, I had screenshot one because i was on it earlier today that that it was kind of in that the <laughs> the english language category and it said yeah. Um, will Julia Fox pop out in another Kim Kardashian inspired look by February 18th? So then I was like thinking to myself, I'm like, okay, I'm going to talk to John in a little. Um, this is kind of interesting. I'm curious to hear his take, right? Cause someone could argue if they lose this, they'll be pissed that, uh, Kim Kardashian, like that the look that Julia ha- Fox had was not a Kim K inspired look. Someone might argue it is a Kim K inspired look, right. you know, where, who's, and who's deciding on that? Yeah, so you should send me that. Uh, you should, if you screenshot it, send that to me so I can look into it. Because, yeah. Well, I said yeah, no, so I was hoping you, that I'm hoping that Julia Fox doesn't. So let's. I got to yeah. make sure that she doesn't <laughs> by February 18th, and then I'll send it to you. No, I'm kidding. But yeah, <laughs> I will. I will. I will. I think it's you interesting. Know, I know people in the company. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, questions that are on are that are not exact, super specific. Then it gets a little squishy. That's why if you look at the kebab, there's a kebab menu on every game that has like a contract, some details, like right. date and time, URL, yes. all that kind yes. of stuff that helps. <clears throat> but yeah, I mean, we, once, once you throw a human in the mix, the humans do wild things. Um, so, and so who ultimately, like if I'm a creator, <clears throat> right. And I post a poll and you know, it says the deadline is February 18th at 6 PM. Once February 18th at 6 PM rolls around, do they have all of the power in deciding if it's graded as a winner or a loser? Yep, yep. It's we push them a notification, say, hey, game's up, game's over, it's time for you to declare. And okay. They, here are your two options. <clears throat> you know, it's George Clooney, Brad Pitt. You, they hit Brad Pitt, boom, and then we take care of the rest automatically. Wow. And then we have a, as you've seen, a wait, a 24 hour waiting period, yep. like an escrow period for people to, just for things to settle, Protest, yeah. for people to, if they want to complain, hey, they made a mistake or they did it wrong. They can do that. And so on the security mm-hmm. side, I'm curious, like, because I can't even imagine the headaches that you have to go through um, probably almost daily. What does that look like when you say, like, tightening up the security? Like, what does that actually physically manifest itself into? It's stuff like uh, 2FA, right? Okay. Uh, like when you uh, are in your bank, online banking, and you want to send money or whatever, right? Any, t- any application out there that has money involved it's they send you a text to your phone right <clears throat> and so it's it's really hard to gain that you know what i mean um stuff like that that's what we're implementing and who are the so the people that get um you know like banned what what is the criteria for you guys to to ban them anything in our tos and it's it's a it's a long list uh you know it's multiple accounts multiple credit cards right okay stuff like that just normal stuff nothing crazy right yeah uh nothing it's just anything malicious like that, they try to game the system and get an advantage over other players. 
we don't stand for that. We want everyone to be, we want this to be fair and fun and equal. Everyone's equal on this. Gotcha. Uh, and so and we ban people and they complain. The ones that we ban, the cheaters that we ban are the ones that complain the most and the yeah, loudest, of course. Which, is, which is the funnest. Well, no, I mean, I think, and I think it's awesome, you know, even as just a user myself, I think it's um, very encouraging <laughs> that like, that is something that you guys take seriously, just because it, you know, it spoils, as you said, it spoils the fun for the rest of us who are actually using it and interacting. And like, like now we have like, I have like a little group chat with my friends. We have like 10 or 15 friends it's like the versus group chat so we every time we have like a cool game or one that we think that we have an edge to then we'll send in the group chat and then like hopefully you know we can all um make some money together so like that stuff i think is the Love fun that. part and i think like that's you know my hope for you guys is that once the security and the limits and all that stuff can get figured out like it could be a lot more of those interactions and and i really think like what you're saying if you use it the right way and you put in a little bit of time and you do a little bit of your research and you become good at it, like it can really be legitimately life changing money. I mean, you know, the fact yeah. that I have fifty nine thousand dollars sitting there now, granted, I can't have access to it just yet. Like I can't can't go out and buy my house just yet, John. But the fact that like hopefully eventually one day that will be the case is mm -hmm. like that's a lot of money. You know what I mean? And that's like no that's like no joke. So um, no so like you guys can like I, th I really think change a lot of, you know, average people's lives. That's the hope. That's exactly what we're trying to do. Trying to spread the wealth. Like people, you know, Wall Street, it's kind of old and antiquated, but kind of cool, but it's okay. You know, it's what if my money is, my bank account is attached to the market, the free market, right? right? And when Elon texts something, everyone loses their shirt, the market goes up wild, right? <clears throat> I lose my money in, the, in Wall Street, but that's crazy. I want my bank account to be attached to this, my right. brain, only mine, right? right? Uh, and that's where that's what we're trying to do. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you haven't done so already, please make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel, follow me on Instagram at felix.levine. And if you have something to say, please leave a comment.